And that's why we're going to the water park. No, no, no. So you can impress the ladies. With what? Your disregard for your own life? Nah, ah. So I can win their hearts with my ice slide technique. I don't want to die sad and lonely like you. I don't think there's much chance of that, if you try and ride the eviscerator. No? Of course not. You'll die slowly and painfully, in front of hundreds of terrified bystanders. <laughs> you know, it's pessimism like that that's making your species extinct. Okay, okay, but we've been looking for the water park for hours. I thought you knew where we were going. No, I do, I do, I, I, I kinda. Oh, hey, hey, you see those signs? Well, if you stand by them and press the action button, you'll receive a hint on how to progress. Come on, let's go! Yeah, I'll uh, catch up. One truly is the loneliest number. You better take a step back. I think I have a sneeze coming. I need to keep a careful eye on him. One wrong move and that's it. You're carried away for lunch. like a possum. Well, look at that hair on his tail. Should I get Ellie? I'm not sure about this guy. Forget it, Crash. He's not worth it. Hey, buddy! Stay away from my sister, or you'll have to deal with me.
All this melting snow makes me a little bit nervous. day of the week. this cave for some peace and quiet. If I find you following me in there, you're in for it. There's nuts in those caves, but don't be mistaken. 
try to collect them, and I'll hear you. There's so many rustling bushes, I doubt you'll be able to sneak around without me hearing you. Talk? Too busy eating. You wouldn't believe how many of these I need to eat if I'm to keep my energy up. What happens if I don't eat enough? Well, I'd get so tired and hungry that I could hardly move. Hey! <laughs> 
get tired of this.
Hey, what's up with you? Are you stuck down there? Tell me now! Ah, I'd love to help you, but I've just had my shell waxed and it's nice and clean and shiny. There's no way I'm gonna risk scuffing my shell to help you out, you little girly mammal. Don't make me mad. Jeez! Ouch! That's it!
Gamble your winter food supply for the chance of winning something special at Fast Tony's Penguin Bowl Arama. Aha! Now you look like the gambling type. I know what you're thinking. I couldn't have anything you want, right? Well, what about this? Hot sauce! Well, away you go. And good luck! been practicing, right? Or you're just plain lucky. Well, here's that nut. What? You thought you were getting a golden nut? You gotta be crazy. They're rare as gold nuts. Well, I doubt someone like you will ever get their hands on one of those. 
Life was good in the water park. Everyone had something fun to do, even Sid. The main thing was we all felt safe in the valley. That is, until we heard of the flood that was supposed to come. We didn't believe the news at first, because who would believe Fast Tony without checking up on a story? Well, we didn't even get a chance at first to look into it, because Sid sort of interrupted our investigation with a wild stunt to get some attention. I've done it better myself. You know, Sid, I think you've proven yourself. Absolutely. You the man. After we all survived Sid's little stunt, we found out Fast Tony's story was true. The ice was melting, and the glacier protecting our valley home was about to break apart. We went back to warn everyone, but it was still a tough story to sell. Luckily, the story was backed up by some of our feathered friends who were kind of looking forward to the impending disaster as it meant they might have quite a feast. There was a way out, though. A large boat formed from a dead tree at the other end of the valley could carry us all to safety. <laughs> 